Hello guys, welcome to this brand new video and today we'll be doing a video series uh, We'll be doing the video series of the fish game that we're making So what we'll be doing today is we'll be developing an enemy AI So it will, it will not be a hi-fi enemy AI, it will be a simple AI enemy that will go towards the um, to us our player and uh, they'll collide with uh, with our player and they can and these, uh, the, these enemies will hit our player and our, uh, maybe our player can die or the enemies can die so what I've done here is I've just created a new C sharp script name it enemy script so just quickly open that in uh, uh, okay visual studio or mono blob so as you can see I have just switched to mono blob uh, sorry visual, visual studio and let's just quickly copy this script from my notepad plus plus to my visual studio so so as you can see this is a simple um, script here uh, i have just assigned the speed of 10 and 10 in both directions so um, also i have um, assigned a vector 2 direction that is minus 1 comma 0 so in case of uh, the player this is this was just opposite here it was 1 comma 0 because we wanted our player to move from negative x-axis to positive x-axis and in this case we want our enemy to move from this side of the screen that is the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen hence we want this value to be set to minus 1 so now we have created a new vector 2 that is movement and we have assigned the value of movement to new vector 2 where speed x is multiplied by direction in x and the speed in y is multiplied by direction in y so if this this transform position is exceeded than the um, exceeded, uh, more than the position of camera in x direction here that is minus 10 then destroy the game object destroy the game object that is if our enemy goes outside of this this right, left hand side the bar here then uh, of the edge of the screen then we have to destroy it because uh, over the time if, uh, if, if the enemies accumulate in your memory so they'll take a lot of space in your memory and uh, eventually that might reduce the performance of the game so what we have done here is we have destroyed the enemy as soon as they go out of the screen but since we have to make sure that they have actually gone out we have just kept little minus 10 value so that uh, they really go out so we have also in update in the fixed update method so i think i have cleared about the update and fixed update methods in my previous videos so in our fixed update what we're doing is we are assigning the velocity of the player of the uh, enemies as movement so let's go and make a new enemy so in my as images folder we have an enemy fish here so just drag it into the scene here and uh, as you can see the enemy looks very much bigger so let's reduce the size of enemy a bit so that uh, they will be a bit comparable to, uh, comparable to our player and our background as well so since we'll be adding a lot more enemies uh, same kind of enemies so we'll have to make a prefab but we'll go into that uh, in a little bit so assign the script that we have just written to this enemy so enemy script okay so here is the direction thing here is uh, this um, the speed and now we can add a rigid body 2d component to this uh, enemy to this enemy yes and you might want to put this gravity scale to zero because you do not want your enemies to be all accumulating at the bottom of the screen every time you they, they, they go out so what i've done here is i've just set the gravity scale to zero and another everything else is okay and i have also i also need to add a box collider 2d okay box collider 2d to this thing so what box collider does is it lets our enemy collide with our player so let's quickly go and edit the collider if necessary because uh, there might be some rough edges like this because you do not want any players to collide here and die and in the same case here in the upper ups on the up adapt so let's just set it a bit to cover the actual fish area rather than the fins and um, uh, the tail so this will this might give uh, a better collision than uh, than the previous one so i think this is okay now uh, and uh, i think we need to uh, I, i'm sure we need to add this for our hero, hero fish as well so add component box collider 2d 
and then just edit the collider here because we do not want our enemy to collide uh, with the gun so are we okay the gun so just set it to something like this and yes i just uncover the tail and the fin part here too because we do not want our oh, no no fish normally dies because just they hit the tail so let's make it real uh, likely real although it does not seem so so it looks okay now and then uh, now we have our enemy fish we have our header fish now let's see what they do let's see let's play this thing and you can see our enemy goes and hits the player and our player keeps and keeps on revolving around and around so okay th this is okay this is what we wanted to do because we have only written the script for our enemy to go in a forward direction so we have our enemy this is okay now what we're going to do is we want this enemy to be able to multiply itself so we want multiple we want multiple number of enemies many enemies to just go there hit our player and then uh, you know uh, maybe make the player die so to make the game a bit of more challenging so let's create a empty game object so let's call this enemy generator so this is the enemy generator and then create a new c sharp script C sharp script call this enemy generator okay, that generator I think that is what I intended here so enemy generator script okay let's just quickly copy this and rename this to enemy generator script and then uh, okay guys no need to worry about the name and the things that I am doing here um, I'll put this all these files in the description below I'll upload these files for you so that uh, you do not have to worry about these things so i'll explain these scripts to you as well so what i am doing here is i am just assigning a public enemy prefab so i think you, you clearly understood that we need to create a prefab of this enemy so i am assigning two variables i and j just for uh, uh, checking the condition stuff so we do not want our enemies to all to generate at once they, they will generate randomly at random time seemingly random time to our, to our players so what i've done is i have assigned a double i to a real time startup so we, what i'm doing here is i'm taking the time of um, one second so i minus j is greater than one second if i minus j is greater than one second then we are instantiating this transform in mid prefab as a transform we are instantiating in prefab into a scene so this position will be a 15 in what in x so it means the is of the screen that um, that i think uh, is appropriate you can adjust these values to your need and then random random dot range minus four comma four so what we are doing here is we are assigning the random direction from random position from minus 4 to minus 4 uh, because um, uh, as you can see our camera height here our height of our camera is 5 so height of our camera is 5 means it's 5 in the up and 5 in the uh, 5 from middle in both directions so it has 5 pixels up here up to here and 5 pixels from center to down here so that means it's total of 10 positions so i do not want i have ignored this plus um, minus one uh, is here so up in the both sides i have ignored a one uh, value uh, in y so in random dot range minus four comma four and uh, j equals to i so now the real time since startup has been assigned to j so that um, we can again see if one second has passed and we can generate enemies every second so this is what we are doing here to save it and just drag this on thing to the enemy generator so here it is asking for a prefab so in assets folder create a new folder and name it prefab so what is a prefab a prefab is basically um, um, basically a game object so we are creating a prefab by just uh, dragging and dropping the enemy face from hierarchy to the prefab. So prefab is um, is uh, basically needed 
when you want to generate a same th a thing of the same kind so we want to here we want to generate this enemy fish multiple times so instead of assigning uh, instead of generating a multiple uh, multiple enemy fish from just the scene view what we do is we assign a prefab and this prefab can be generated by something like generator here um, every now and then so it makes easier to try and generate enemies to maybe generate um, uh, to generate some uh, players and to generate some scenes and sometimes maybe generate some uh, levels as well so I'm just assigning enemy prefab here so um, to the enemy generate script and this enemy fish is no longer linear to us and let's see if this thing works out so you can see we have enemies coming towards us okay this this looks good it's it's looking good now and if we collide with them still they're just fighting us off and they're going and let's minimize this for a time and let's see if they are getting destroyed as we intended to and as you can see as they move out of the screen they are just getting destroyed so this is okay there might be some rough edges and we can sort it out very soon so this is okay now for us and now what we want to do is we want to we want to okay now we want to make them die let the enemies die so just checking my script for a bit so okay in my scripts folder let me see if i have got the script or i might have to write it now. okay i think you know okay now what we need to do is in this enemy fish prefab here just tick the east trigger in the header fish as well tick the east trigger in box collider and let's see if we have the script written so if we have the right things that we need uh, okay we have everything written here so just open the player move script and in our first video i think we have commented this part here void on trigger in the 2d just uncomment this section out so if you are in visual studio just use a shortcut key key control key control u so again these things are not needed here okay for some time this is not needed here so what you are doing here is we are assessing the 2d just the trigger component that just assigned here this trigger so what we do is if something enters our trigger field then we are assigning this other collider to our hit uh, enemy script we are searching enemy script inside them so only thing that is enemy script enabled is enemy so if it is not equal to null that means if we have hit enemy then destroy enemy gen so in what is enemy gen enemy gen it's a public variable that we just commented out here in the top section okay enable this so destroy enemy gen again destroy hit that game object that means we are destroying our our enemy that the status and we are also destroying ourselves so since we need to die we are just you can just play animations and things like that but we are not going to that stuff right now we are just destroying everything so in the hit of fish uh, as we have just uh, done this thing and uh, we have just thrown the trigger and things like that so let's see if we what happens when we collide as you can see we collided with them and then we did we are dead but we have not assigned a thing called enemies into it the, this thing the, to do the player move so the enemies are still being generated just drag the enemy generator from scene and do the enemy in and save it and play it again what you should be able to see is as soon as we are dead the fish that are that are in the scene just go out of the screen for some after some time and then after that uh, other things um, stop generating and this background is uh, scrolling as it is so this is what we are doing guys uh, we have done to, uh, till today uh, guys we have just generated the enemy script we have generated enemies we have um, uh, enabled player depth and things like that we have uh, we have a simple enemy AI and uh, and this is okay this is okay we are going in the right direction now so uh, in games like flappy board you can just assign the same script this enemies in the script uh, uh, enemies in just change the name and 
uh, in flappy birds i think those enemy would be those uh, tunnels coming from up and down so you can assign things like that if you want to make a new game and things like that so um this much for today guys thank you for watching and if you like the video please uh, let me know in the comments below and if you want to more see something more something if you want to know more th uh, things than unity in this game series and if you want to, me to do a new tutorial for you then please know in, let me know in the comment section below guys and if you like the video please subscribe uh, and thank you for watching guys see you soon